Collinfield, Oklahoma. Uh, if you was to look at the front of my Jeep, uh, you would see a lot of green on it. I have a white Jeep, but right now it has a tinge of green from all the pollen. And so my sinuses are going like crazy. Uh, just pretty miserable right now, but it's been a while since I've done a Jeep jabbering and uh, the other day in a stream people asked me, hey, when is Jeep jabbering coming back? So I thought I would try to do a Jeep jabbering this morning before I go into work. I was thinking this morning about Disney parks. What makes me desire to go to Disney parks? Well, it's not really about the rides. I am not an adventurous rider. I am not a thrill seeker. I know you see Road Trip Dave and he gets on those roller coasters and he feeds off of that adrenaline rush. So I guess if you were to ask me, what do I feed off of when I go to a Walt Disney World Resort, a Walt Disney World Park, a Disneyland Park, it would be the dreamer spirit. I feel like when I am on Disney property, I am in a place where dreams are birthed. I believe it's because of Walt Disney's legacy. He said, if you can dream it, you can do it. So I believe that when I get on his property at the parks, it gives me a sense of vision. It gives me a sense of dreaming. I get new ideas. I get inspiration. It's just an inspiring moment for me and my husband. Even he talks about just getting up early and walking the resort grounds, how just things come to him and how it's easy to just even, believe it or not, at Walt Disney World, even pray and hear from the Lord. So I believe that Walt Disney's legacy of being a dreamer is manifested there at his parks. It's his dreams manifested in physical form. And so when I get on a Walt Disney World property or a Disneyland property, I am just inspired to dream. And I think that's a lot of it for some of the other Disney fans like uh, Dean from Dreamers Empire. Um, it's just that inspiration that comes you don't even have to ride a ride. You don't even have to even go into the parks, just being at the resorts themselves. It's just a wonderful feeling of imagination. Walt Disney said, first think, second dream, third believe, and four finally dare to do what you've dreamed, to do the impossible. You have but this one life to live, so go out and capture your moments and dream big.